Let me see you get low when it freaks them out. Freaks them out. Hey guys, this is a review of our traits for the Mesmer class. Uh, starting with the Domination tree. Mental Torment. This trait is amazing. Uh, I try to pick this trait up as much as I possibly can. Halting Strike. Deals damage while interrupting a foe. This is terrible. It does absolutely no damage. It does less damage than your auto attack. Do not pick this up. Empowered Illusions. This trait is amazing as well. Um, I try to use this if I can. Um, if not, I get the minor trait, uh, Phantasmal Strength, which is basically the same exact thing. Rending Shatter. Uh, this trait is pretty bad. It only can put out three stacks of vulnerability, which really isn't that great to pick up in one of your slots. Crippling Dissipation. This trait is actually really, really good. Um, if you use a, a build, let's say like a scepter, you can cripple so many people because your clones are constantly dying. It's actually a very good pick. Signet Mastery. I don't like this trait just because I don't like signets that much. And to have just a recharge faster on, on your signets really isn't worth it this slot. There's so many better traits in this tree to pick up. Shatter Concentration. Uh, this this trait really isn't that bad. I, I personally wouldn't use it, but it, it can remove up to three boons on a shatter, which isn't that bad considering that you know there's lots of boons in the game. But I still wouldn't use it. Uh, I would definitely pick a different route for boon removal. Confusion enchantments. This skill is actually really good in a confusion build. Um, I've used it in World v World, where whenever I put down a glamour skill, it blinds a target and applies confusion whenever targets are blinded. It actually stacks confusion very well. Cleansing Conflagration. This skill is good if you use your, your torch, but the torch really isn't that great of a weapon to use to begin with. But if they buff the torch for some reason, this trait will definitely be used. Great sword training. I personally use this trait every time I have a great sword. Uh, the cooldown reduction on all your skills is just amazing, and the 50 power definitely is a good thing. Harmonious mantras. In a mantra build, this is a very good talent to have or, or trait to have. Being able to use your your uh, your mantras more than two times is just amazing. Um, if you use power spike, it's very good for that. Other than that, I haven't really used it because that's the only mantra I really find myself using uh, a whole lot. Confounding Suggestions. This is actually a decent trait. Um, if you use a lot of dazes, like with the offhand sword and uh, the mantra and your shatters, it can actually be very effective in stunning a lot of people. Illusion of Vulnerability. This is an okay minor trait. It's not that great. I mean, you don't really want to be, you know, relying on this trait for your vulnerability stacks. Dazzling. This really isn't that great of a minor trait. I mean, yeah, it, it helps a little bit, but you don't have that many dazes to begin with, and it only puts up one stack of vulnerability. Last Rail's Punishment. This is a decent trait for a minor trait. Uh, the increased damage definitely helps, considering if you say like a great sword, your knockback counts as uh, an inactive foe, and the increase of damage definitely can help burst someone down. The dueling tree will start here with the far-reaching manipulations. Um, this is pretty bad of a of a trade actually. Um, it doesn't give you that much more range on your skills. Um, I used it with blink, and it just wasn't worth the slot. Phantasmal Fury, this trait is amazing. Every single build I ever do, I have this trait because your illusions are a big part of your damage and having fury on them is a very, very good thing. Retaliatory Shield, I actually tried this trait and it wasn't bad when I did a uh, confusion and retaliation build. It actually worked out pretty good. Blade Training, this trait is pretty good. Uh, I don't use it that much, but if you 
like to use your sword a lot, this is a good trait to pick up. Desperate Decoy. Now, I hate this trait. I know a lot of people like this trait. I just feel like if you're if you're planning on being at 25% health at any point in your gaming experience in PvP, you're already putting yourself in a bad situation. I would never, ever pick up this trait. Protective Mantras. This trait only gives you 200 toughness, which really isn't that much. It doesn't really help you that much considering how long the cast time of Mantras are. I would definitely skip this trait. Mantra Mastery. This trait... I would not pick up either. This trait is very, very bad. Most mantras have short cooldowns to begin with, and just picking this up is just a waste of a slot. Blurred inscriptions. Uh, this trait is very bad as well. This one, <laughs> I don't like signets, so using this is as bad. If you pick up the the signet that gives you a stun, I forget the name. It's called signet of domination and you use this trait there's it's like counterproductive like you just stun the guy you don't need to have distortion duelist discipline this trait i love i use it every time i have a pistol because i love having duelist out all the time as well as being able to stun more and having the range is very good when people run from you deceptive evasion this trait really isn't that bad i know it was a minor trait before but there are some builds that can use this major trait, like especially in a, a scepter build, for example, where you want a minion or clone factory as much as you possibly can. Empowering mantras. This trait's very good for those who use lots of mantras. I personally don't. I don't like mantras at all. Um, you may see in my screen that I have mantras on my skill bar. That's because I was testing out a build and it was very bad. Um, but however, if you do like mantras and you have a lot of them go for this trait. Furious Interruption, uh, I used this trait a lot in the beta and it worked out pretty well in a build where you had lots of interrupts. Other than that, I would skip it. Critical Infusion, I absolutely love this trait. Um, I crit all the time, so I constantly have Vicar. And I love dodging, and I love using it for mobility, I love using it to avoid attacks. It is a great trait. Sharper Images, this trait is amazing um, a lot of builds should pick it up because even if you have very low condition damage those bleeds do add up to a lot of damage regardless of how much condition damage you do have confusing combatants I like this trait a lot I gotta say my illusions die all the time and putting confusion on mobs or players is a very good thing even with low condition damage this trait will end up doing a lot of damage for you onto the chaos tree chaotic revival I that this trait is definitely a skip yeah you're gonna rally sometimes but the chaos armor you gain from this trait isn't worth the slot descent into madness the only time I ever use this trait is when I'm trying to get vistas so that I don't die master of manipulation this trait is actually pretty good when you have uh, blink uh, blink is definitely a very good mobility skill and if you pick up blink and you're in this tree pick up this trait. Illusionary Defense, this is very good if you can clone factory very well. Um, if you can't clone factory very well or your, or your clones are dying very often, do not use this trait. Debilitating Dissipation, this trait is actually really, really good. Every time that your clones die, you put a random condition on nearby foes and that is just awesome. It really is, especially if you're in a condition damage build or you just want to spread conditions around. Retaliatory Demise. This is actually a decent trait. Um, I haven't personally used it. However, when you go down, there is many times where people still attack you and they don't actually stomp you. And the retaliation you gain from this can actually get you rallied. Mirror of Anguish. I absolutely love this trait. I used it a lot in the beta and I still use it today. I just don't use it that often in World v. World because there's so many things going on. However, being able to reflect a CC back to a target is just awesome, especially when it's like a 100 blade warrior and they just bull rush you because you just knock them right down and you just escape. It is an amazing trait. If you're in this tree, pick this up. Chaotic Interruption. I don't like this trait because you don't have that many interrupts to begin with and you don't know what conditions you're going to get out of it. It really, there's just better traits in the tree to pick up over this. 
cleansing inscriptions. I don't like this trait because again, I don't like I don't like signets at all. Um, removing a condition with a signet, is, I guess, is okay. But there's just better traits and better ways to get conditions off yourself. Chaotic dampening. I don't like this trait very much because whenever I use a staff, I always just go condition builds. And the toughness, yeah, it's nice. But if you're this deep into the chaos trait, there's just better traits to pick up. Bountiful Interruption, this trait is okay, but you know what, the, like I said before, there really isn't that many interrupts that you're going to have, and you don't know what boon you're going to pick up when you do interrupt. It's just better off picking up a different trait. Prismatic Understanding, Cloaking Skills last one second longer. This is eh, an okay trait, I guess. Um, if you have a lot of stealth, I guess this can benefit you. However, there's just better traits in this tree that you could pick up in place of this. Metaphysical Rejuvenation. This is a great trait. Um, there's so many times that you go down below 75% HP and just that extra bit of regeneration can definitely help you out. And it's on a 30 second cooldown, which is amazing. Illusionary Membrane. This trait is really good because it synergizes with your, your last trait, which was uh, Metaphysical Rejuvenation. And pr Protection is just a very good boon to have. Chaotic Transference. This trait's okay, I guess. However, if I go a condition damage build, I don't go into this tree. And if I do, it's very, very low amount into this tree. This minor trait really isn't worth the points. On to the inspiration tree. Medic's feedback, I actually use this in World v World, and I use it a little bit in structured PvP, and I had so much fun with this trait. Because of the fact that you get a feedback bubble, which is the big bubble that you see go around all over the place, you can reflect so many things and it's so much fun like reviving people and watching people kill themselves glamour mastery i use this trait whenever i do a, a confusion build because i like to have my glamour skills for that um the, the recharge in this is really good actually because uh your null field is actually like your primary uh glamour skill that you put down in a confusion build and this trait really helps out having it down more often vigorous revelation i use this trait whenever i do a support build uh, I, I also try to use it whenever I do a dungeon because the vigor that you give to your allies is actually really really good and everybody loves to dodge like whether it be for mobility or just defense everybody loves it so pick up this trait if you're gonna go support build. Then there's purity I pick this trait up every time I do a balance build or if I'm in this tree because this this trait is actually one of the best traits in the game because of the fact that you can heal and remove a condition is actually very very good. Persisting Images. This trait is very good, especially if you want to have your Phantasms out more often, or if you're doing dungeons. The 20% extra HP is actually very, very good. Compounding Solidity. This is an okay trait. Um, the only way I could ever see it being really used is if you have to chase people, but if you're chasing people, most likely you're not going to have illusions on them, so it really is a skip. Malicious Sorcery. I use this trait if I have a Scepter. Um, the Malice on it is actually really good. And the cooldown reduction is actually very, very uh, beneficial for the scepter. Um, the block and the three skill, I can't remember the name right now, they both benefit greatly when they have the, the recharge reduced. Warden's Feedback, I absolutely love this trait. Whenever I have a, a focus out, I try to pick this up because reflecting projectiles is so much fun. And the reduction of cooldown for your, your, uh, your swiftness buff and your, your Warden is just awesome. Temporal Enchanter, Glamour skills last longer. I, I like having this whenever I use a Confusion build, just because I can have more people walk into my uh, Glamours and get confused. Restorative Mantras, I use this in a Mantra build, and it actually heals for a lot. If you actually use a Power Spike Mantra, uh, you can actually heal your group for a whole lot of uh, HP. Shatter Conditions, I actually like this trait because Every time that you shatter, you can remove up to three conditions from yourself, which is one of the best ways to remove conditions. However, there's just better things in this tree to pick up in place of this. Restorative Illusions. This is an okay trait. I tried it a little bit. It just didn't heal for that much to be warranted a slot. Vengeful Images. This is a decent minor trait, considering that your phantasms get attacked pretty often, and the retaliation just adds to your damage. Phantasmal Healing is actually a really good minor trait to have, especially if you're in the Chaos Tree, because when you have that trait with Illusionary Membrane, you just give yourself protection constantly. Phantasmal Strength, this is a really good minor trait. There is a similar trait in the Domination Tree, and if you can pick up both, 
that is very good to have, especially if you're, in, you're using a Phantasm build. On to the Illusions tree. Precise Whack. I like this trait a lot. It I don't really need it anymore because I have so much crit that it doesn't really matter. But if I were to use a lower crit build or a lower crit gear, I would definitely pick up this trait. Confusion Cry. I like this when I have a retaliation build or some form of a confusion build just because of the fact that it adds to your damage when people attack you. Compounding Power. I actually love this trait because I can clone factory very easily in most builds and having the extra damage is just so good. Masterful Reflection. I don't like this trait. I used it in the beta in one of my videos actually and I thought it was be really good but it actually wasn't because you can't use Blurred Frenzy with it which sucks because that's the, like your main distortion. Master of Misdirection, I use this trait every time I have a confusion build. Every single time. Having your confusion last longer is just a very good thing to have. Illusionary Invigoration, I use this trait every single time that I use a shatter build. Just because of the fact that uh, I'm most likely going to lose HP down to 50% and just recharging my mind rack is just amazing. Illusionary Elasticity is actually a very good trait. It's good for the greatsword and the staff. Dazzling Glamours, I use this trait whenever I gotta have uh, some damage mitigated or if I'm using a confusion build. You can use this in a in a dungeon and you'll actually do a lot for your group because the blind is just very awesome to have especially on the hard hidden mobs. Blind and Befuddlement actually synergizes very well with Dazzling Glamours. Whenever you uh, blind someone you cause confusion. It also works pretty well with this torch and the one signet. Phantasmal Haste, I absolutely love this trait. I try to pick it up in most of my PvE builds and some of my uh, PvP builds. Just because having your uh, any of your Phantasms doing their abilities more often is just more damage for you. Illusionary Persona, I like this trait a lot, especially in a Shatter build, because of the fact that most Shatter builds that I do, I usually play melee, and I'm already in the thick of things, and I'm going to use this trait as much as possible. Imbued Diversion, uh, this trait really isn't worth it unless you pick up the, the last trait in the Domination Tree, which is uh, Confounding Suggestions, because then you can like AoE stun big groups, but I still think it's not worth a slot for a major trait. Illusionist Celeridity, this trait is amazing. Try to pick it up in every single one of your builds because having a lower recharge on all of your illusions is just a very awesome thing to have in every build. Illusionary Retribution. I like this trait a lot. Uh, I use it in my main build and I try to use it in a lot of builds, especially a confusion one. The confusion it adds is just boosts your damage so much. Like You'd be surprised how much these couples of stacks of confusion can really do for your damage. Shatter Strength. This just gives you more damage every time that you, uh, you shatter your illusions. It only gives you, I think, three stacks of might. It's not that great of a minor trait, but you know what? If you're this far in the tree, it just boosts your damage a little bit more. Now, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it was pretty long and there's a lot of material to take in, but uh, you may have noticed that my video was all jumping around and stuff. That's because I forgot to crop it before I actually started editing. But uh, I also want to announce that I'm going to release a little bit of my big video that's coming out soon. It's about two minutes worth, and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Hope you enjoy it.